So there's a couple of things to observe here. One is, in general, the fake data pulls everything towards 0 0.5. So whereas we go to extremes over here, we are less extreme in this case. 0 0.33 is further away from 0 0.5 than 0 0.4. So all these numbers get moved towards 0 0.5. So this is somehow smoother. We also see that these two outcomes, the first and the last, under the division model give us the same extreme estimate. But the more data we get in our new estimator, the more we are willing to move away from 0 0.5. One observation of heads gave us 0 0.667, two of them 0 0.75. And I can promise you, in the limit as you only see heads for infinitely many, we will finally approach one. Now this is really cool. We added fake data, and I would tell you that I generally think these are better estimates in practice. And the reason why is, it's really reckless after a single coin flip to assume that all coins come up positive. I think it's much more moderate to say, well, we already have some evidence that heads might be more likely, but we're not, not quite convinced yet. The not quite convinced is the same as having a prior. There's an entire literature that talks about these priors. They have a very cryptic name. They're called Dirichlet priors. But more importantly, the method of adding fake data is called a Laplacian estimator. When there's plenty data, the Laplacian estimator gives about the same results as the maximum likelihood estimator. But when data is scarce, this works usually much, much, much better than the maximum likelihood estimator. It's a really important lesson in statistics.